Hey guys, Alex Pushkar with Siren Marine in another episode of Siren U. In today's episode, we'll be, we'll be going over how to connect uh, an external siren or strobe light to one of the output connections in the MTC. Um, the outputs, there's three on the MTC, uh, giving you the ability to relay to a strobe light, a siren, which we'll be hooking up today, um, maybe your air conditioner fridge, your air conditioner switch, your refrigerator switch, any of those kind of things uh, in which you're, you, know, you want to make sure you can control when you're away from your boat. Uh, in this case, this is for security purpose. We're going to be relaying off a, a security input to our siren. So we already have a motion sensor in place. We're going to hook up our siren to when that motion sensor is tripped, it's going to sound the alarm. Um, again, all that is configured in the app, but the connections to the board remain the same. Um, the outputs on the MTC do have a max rating of about one amp. So if you are trying to throw a bigger switch, maybe like uh, your air conditioner or your refrigerator, your live well pump, uh, you will need an external 12 volt relay. Uh, for this application, this is a small uh, siren. Um, this is acceptable to be attached directly into the output. All right, guys, so laid out in front of us here, we have the tools necessary to connect um, my audible siren to my output uh, on the MTC unit. Um, from left to right, I have my wire strippers, a pair of crimps, dikes, some heat shrink uh, butt connectors in case I have to extend my wire runs um, from the install uh, of the siren directly to the MTC, um, a torch to melt those wire butts, um, and then my drill, some zip ties for the installation process, and our handy siren marine screwdriver. All right, so the first thing you want to do when you start, uh, you know, when, before you install your siren is obviously determine a mounting location for this. Uh, in our case, we're going to be relaying off a motion sensor in the security one input to activate this alarm. So when the device is armed, a motion sensor is tripped, it's going to sound this siren activating a loud piercing alarm to scare anybody away. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to mount this under the gunnel, let's say. Um, I have a positive negative lead coming out of our siren. Um, the negative will be terminated at the output one pin uh, and we're going to be picking up positive power from uh, our battery one input as well. Um, so to start, I've already stripped this stuff back. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and terminate our black wire off the siren um, into our output one pin. I'm going to make sure this is open. Slide this guy in there. Then I'm going to tie our um, positive side of this, this alarm into our battery one positive. That's where we're going to be pulling the 12 volts from. So I'm going to undo this pin. I'm going to splice these guys together. Go ahead and reinsert this back into positive power or battery one input. From there, obviously, all of our wires tuck neatly in between our gasketed base. We're able to seal this guy back up. And now we'll be able to control the device and the siren in our app. That wraps up this segment of Siren U. Be sure to check out our other installation videos on how to unlock the full potential of your MTC device.